can't thank you enough for your help, Christopher, on such short notice. I'm happy to help, although I must confess I'm a little unsure of the circumstances. Well, I wish I knew myself. Father Francis had called for you. It's been some disappearances. Disappearances? Maybe the good father should summon Sheriff McGowan. Surely he would. If Sheriff McGowan was still alive. He died? When? Don't rightly know. They found his body just yesterday. His heart was removed. Had markings all over him. Ain't the first time either. Son, you lost? In case you can't see, I got a shotgun aimed. You better move on, boy. We got business. Crow Cell. You've done well. What did you bring me?
He's nearly dead. Revive him. Now, now, Father. Greed is a deadly sin. Please, need water. Well, if it's any consolation to you, I'm not gonna let you die. Who are you? Hey, I'm glad you asked that. It's important, you know. Who I am? I'm your new obsession. You... you unholy beast. <laughs> Flattery will get you everywhere. I love them already. Our Father, who art in heaven, I would be... Stop that! <laughs> you think your God doesn't see this, boy? You think you don't see me? Now, that's better. As it happens, I have a bit of unfinished business in burning bush. I need you to go on ahead of me, get things ready. Make the bed, so to speak. I'm a man of God, a child of Christ. I'll do nothing to serve the powers of darkness. The powers of darkness. You all sound the same. You sound like a broken record. A phonograph. Never mind. The point is, I know better than to leave it up to you. You will never use me. Christopher? You couldn't be more wrong. I must feed this body. You know me too well. You boys are gonna be wanting to put them shooters down. The name's Red River Joe. I'm placing you all under arrest. You ain't gonna be sneaking up on me, son. I got eyes in the back of my head. Now you and your boys are Joe! coming with me. What are you doing? Sam, I was just... Uh... If Cuddy sees you jackassing on his time, they'll be <clears throat> calling you red-ass Joe. Sam, I was... <sighs> Yeah, you were just chopping that wood, weren't you? Yeah. I need to go into town. I'm out of nails. Well, that's not a moment waste. So, Red River Joe, huh? That's right. Famous lawman. Well, sir, if you plan to be a proper lawman, you might find the time to learn to shoot. You kidding? I can shoot. You can shoot off at the mouth if that counts. I could shoot a nickel off a of courtesan's nose. And I could ride like the devil. Well, I imagine that's all you'll be shooting at the ladies. Ain't true. Ladies love Red River Joe. Oh, is that a fact? Hell yeah. Name me one. Well, her. Grace? Jesus Christ, Joe, she's about to be a mother. Not her. Her. Too bad about Roy, huh? For the life of me, I do not know why you encourage that boy. Isn't that all a boy needs to become a man? 
a little encouragement. Sarah, you are nothing short of sinful. <laughs> Is that gonna be it? I imagine so. You gonna put that on Cuddy Baker's tab? Yes, sir. All right then. There's something going on outside. What's that? Outside, something's up. We need to get him inside. He's overexposed and dehydrated. One of y'all bad eggs run and fetch some water. Today, perchance? You gonna be okay, Doc. Hard to say. Been out there a while, looks like. Is there anything we can do? Afraid not, Sam. He's gonna need a lot of rest. And water! If you two don't mind, I'd like to save this man's life. There's nothing that you can do. Go on, let the man rest. Y'all can check back tomorrow. Well, 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 look at what the cat done dragged in. You cut it my close, ain't you? Not your problem. About now, he's all the way in. Be mighty glad to see you. Hotel. How about we don't keep him waiting then? We're after you.
heard you've been Dallas way. May have. Well, I certainly hope it was industrious. I'd be surprised if you know what that means. Mr. Patrick Mitchell. Thought you gonna run out of me, son. I pay my debts, Mr. McAuliffe. Oh, no, man. As it stands, you do. Is that all of it? Exact amount. I see. Like I said, oh, no, man. You call off your dogs, and I'm going on my way. My gun. Not so fast, youngster. According to this fine piece of English craftsmanship, you're late with payment. Pinch of the game was 5 o'clock tonight. Jesus, Bill. It's all there. Come on. No, it ain't. A deal's a deal. How much? I reckon another 50 to keep you out of a tight scratch. And how long? Say the Wednesday, five o'clock. That's less than two days. That's right. Man, you don't beat the devil around the stump. Levi, give Patrick back his gun. spread you out like a bed sheet. You damn near dropped your scatter gun. What are you doing here? You can't be here at this time of night. People are gonna think the wrong thing. Well, I reckon you're right, but I need to talk to you about Father Long. You could have done so in town. Well, not with you ignoring me. Yes, well, if I've been ignoring you, it's because I've got more important things on my mind. Now that Roy is gone... Grace, I am so sorry about Roy. Everyone is. He was... It's fine! Since you're still there, you might as well come inside. I was to understand you came here to talk. So talk. Okay. Do you find it odd that Father Long wandered off on his own with no provisions, without saying a word to anyone? No. No, not even a little? He's a holy man, Sam. He probably went off on some spiritual quest. Grace. That man has never quested for more than good meat and better whiskey. I mean, you know him better than anyone. You're right, I do know him better than anyone. And I say that if he went without word of water, then he had a reason for it. He was gone for the better part of two weeks. I'm worried about him, Grace. 
Look, the doctor says he has a chance. I always trust a hope in dark times, Samuel. You should too. That's not all I mean. Then say what you mean. I'm just saying it's strange is all. You didn't come out all this way in the dark just to talk about Father Long's travel habits, did you? Well, I mean, maybe I wanted to see you too. I mean, Gracie, God, we practically grew up together. I don't know why you can't at least say hello when you see me. Hello, Sam. You're right, I shouldn't have came. That's the first smart thing you've said all night. Please leave out the back door and don't let anybody see you. My deepest apologies. About time you show up. Cody wants you on the gate. That'd be the gate we're passing, Sam. Where's your hammer? I'm in the gate after I've seen the Father Long. Might be he's awake. I'm with you, but it'll be your ass he bulldozes. Damn it, Joe, you never could stand the gap. I ain't afraid of Cuddy Baker. That's because you ain't never tasted his foot with your ass. Well, still out. Should get going. Could you take a walk, Joe? Yeah. Only because I want to. Son, you better be getting on, boy. I said get for I clean your plow. Got bricks in your hat, boy? Xander. We some kind of acquainted? You come and place that big bug down in the bush? Tell them I got nothing for them. Some bitch done took all I had. Xander. You don't remember me? Dancing Christ, it's you. Don't suppose it's worth asking what you want. You've lost none of your brilliance, old friend. Oh, we ain't no friends. Sure wish we were. You been to see Bill? Yeah. Reckon I'd heard. I heard he's been busy. You hear right. Sent his bruisers. Took my house, my cattle, my land. 
my pity. Some pioneers after I seen you last. Probably should have had some bruisers myself, other than the women kind. Boy, I had them too. Did it pretty every night. Ain't been that way in over 15 years. In a way, I'm glad to see you. It's good to be appreciated. Reckon we can make this quick? Looking for something? Oh, coffee, whiskey flavor. Bad morning. No, sir. All laughs and daisies. <laughs> Warrant so. Come on now. Take a draft. Boss. Big as all creation. Corned already, Patrick? No. Nah. But I'm hard at work. Now that seems like a terrible waste of your time. Well, you tell that old codfish. I'll have his money. Same as I did last night. A little smarter, we hope. I'd hate to have to carve you out like a jack o' lantern. <laughs> Like a jack o' lantern. That's good. That's enough. I'm sure we just got some kind of misunderstanding here. Isn't that right, Matthew? Don't want no trouble. Pat? No problem. You son of a whore. I said that's enough, damn it. I'll be seeing you. Mind that nose now. Now, we ain't gonna have to keep an eye on you, are we? I said I'll have your money, and I'll have it. a boy. Next one's on me. Mr. McCaleb. Guthrie's in town. Said he got news he'd only tell you. Likely wise. It's your man Xander. He's dead. How? Shot in the gut. Found him about a town over in Athens. Best I could tell, he walked till he died. Hmm. Good work, Guthrie. Who's Xander? Is there a problem? No, no problem. Something I started out ages ago. 
Guthrie, I want you to round up Max and the boys. Go over to Athens. Bring them back here. Yes, sir. Now, Guthrie. Well, boys. How about a round of whiskey? <laughs> yeah. Two rounds sound damn better to me. All right. Look like you need it. Christopher. Sam, my boy. What can I do for you? Father, you've been gone. I have. Well, where did you go? Well, son, sometimes a, a man has to abandon his own path in order to find his own way. Well, is that what happened? It was. Well, did you find something? You could say that. Care to talk about that? No doubt, my boy. As a matter of fact, tonight, I'm calling a service, and I expect to see you there. I will see you there, won't I, Sam? Yeah, yes, sir. I'll show. Very good. Wait, wait, Father. Did you see me the other day when I came by to see you in the hotel? Mm, no. <laughs> they did say I was pretty close to an earth bath. You looked at me. I don't think it was you. Sam. The days do strange things to a man without his needs. I assure you, I'm perfectly all right. Tonight? Tonight. Good boy. Have you heard? It's Father Long. He's gonna be okay. It's no more than I expected. You cannot tell me that you weren't worried in the slightest. Why would I be? Grace, you old crow. Sarah! That man practically raised you. You should show some more concern. I find more use in faith than in concern. He's holding a special service tonight. Am I to assume you'll be attending? Absolutely not. And why not? Because only the devil deals at night. Believe all them dopes outside? They ain't no faith gonna make me look like no fool. <laughs> You'd be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> all in. I fold. Call. I'm out. Bull boat beat that. <clears throat> Four kings. Bad day to be a sod buster. You thieving son of a bitch. Cuddy. Put it away, Cuddy.
Patrick Mitchell. Impressing the locals as usual. I don't give much for impressions. I'm more interested in a few more gulls and chuckleheads pony up at this here table. Got men to pay. That why you was out here so fast last night, Grease Lightning? I'd say it's related. Well, uh... Don't you go forgetting about this here little pony once you get yourself all liquored up. <laughs> yes, ma'am. You playing cards, sir? Deal em. Oh, yeah, that'd be the good father long. Done got yourself lost. And I come in town all dizzy headed, called a meeting. Ain't nothing to gravel about. <sighs> yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, saints of burning bush, my children, a grand day is upon us. A time I've spoken of since, well, since I've known you all. I honestly didn't believe I'd see this day, but here we are, and here he is. I struck out, and I sought the face of our Lord, and he found me. I take heed, let no man deceive you, for the great tribulation is upon us. Yes, Lord, we're ready. Yes. Yes, my child. We, the children of Christ, are ready. And I tell you, this day, this day, you will walk with me in heaven. For the kingdom of heaven is coming. For even as the lightning cometh from the east and shineth even unto the west, so also shall the coming of the Son of Man be. I have seen the face of our Lord. This is my blood. Happy is he who dines at my supper, the Messiah. Our Messiah is coming, and he will find his people ready, anointed. He took the cup, and he gave thanks. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to the people, and all the people drank from it. Take. This is my flesh!
something to be grilled at? Boy, I about had enough. Clean Christ. It better be Satan himself out there. Street Father. <laughs> He's coming for you, Sam. Who, who? Who's coming for me, Father? Your father. Soul. You're my father. Always loved you. She was coming after me. I don't think it was her at all. Samuel, I swear to holy Christ. Grace, it's Father Long. He's dead. What? what? I've seen it. Busy night? Well, all right. Ain't this some shit. You're looking good yourself. Youthful. You owe me a piglet, Bill. Mm, so I do. What are you doing? I'm going into town. Did you not hear a word I said? Every word. Well, then you know you're not going into town. You frightened me. You reckon I did? You've got no right to, to tell me what I can and can't do. And you can't handle me like that. I promised Father Long. Father Long's dead. Just like Roy. Now Sarah may be in danger. And, 
And you want me to do what, Sam? Just sit on my hands and hope she doesn't die too? She's Roy's sister. She's the only family I got left. You got me. We're not kin. We never were. Just don't stand in my way. up the way. You're gonna want to see this. Goddamn massacre. This got anything to do with us? Hey, we're about to find out. We just gonna leave him there? Well, Buzzard's gotta eat too. We're gonna need some more iron. Papalegba, Papalegba, ouvri le pour, ouvri le pour. The hell you doing, Matthew? I guess you moved in. Hell, I wasn't about to leave after what I saw. There's darkness here. I'm asking Papa Legba for help. Something I ain't done in years. Think it'll help? No. Whoa! Whoa. Morning! Morning. I don't mean to be a bother, but uh, I'm sure y'all heard about the trouble we had around here last night? Can't say we did. That right. That's right. Well, in any case, uh, only friends of Big Bill have been let in on account it's a bit uh, dangerous around here. Now see here, you have no authority to keep us from our business. Ma'am, I don't give a rat's piss about your business. Hey. You watch your mouth when talking to a lady. And you watch how you talk to me, boy. Okay, all right. Now, we don't need any trouble. Have you lost your damn mind? You shouldn't let biddies play with guns, boy. That's how they end up in the dirt. Well, this biddy damn near had you in the dirt. You got a wise lip, son. You want to give me your name before I silence it? Sam. Samuel Rubin. Well, Lady Luck does shine on me. Cleve, you get that wagon out of town and make sure that biddy goes with it. And <laughs> you're coming with me, boy. <laughs> What's he talking about? You mean you slept through the whole thing? Depends on what it is. Jesus, Matthew, you some kind of devil worshiper? No, but I ain't no bishop either. I'm a man that just might save your ass. Pain 
is the balm of Gilead that soothes the misery of peace, and you will take none of it from me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now then, let's see what we got. Up, boy. Up! You will hurt so well. So sweet. You got what you came for. I said I'd give, I gave. <laughs> Business is done. No, 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 no. No, it's not. You see, this fruit has green on it that I can't wash off. There's a lot of play between a pinch and a promise. Am I right? We'll have to lock this piglet up. Put him in the tank. You ain't gonna be coming. What? I'm not gonna be what? Do it now. And Levi, if you spill any more of his blood, I will substitute your own. Why don't we just run? I can't run. Well, I can. Sorry, old man, but I don't stick around for the noose. Well, you can run. But he just may not let you. You might just want to kill every single one of us, even if you're not his. And how the shit do you know what's going on? And don't give me to all your religious horseshit. We are safest here, all of us. Why? Will you two shut up? Listen. Sarah! Grace! Take it easy. You little weasel. Between you and Sam. Have you seen him? I was with him earlier. He was taken. Taken? Who took him? I, I didn't know the man. They must have been looking for him. Well, why? I don't know. You seen Sarah? I just got here. Had to see for myself if the rumors were true. Well, let us not dally. Get in there. Well, looks like Lady Luck done shined on us both. Get up. Get in there. Because were it up to me, I'd have done peeled back the top of that empty skull of yarn. You don't scare me. Well, that's because you're stupid. That's all right. Old boy's here for you. Looks like he got plans. 
and they don't seem pleasant. So you have yourself a, a nice night. <laughs> Sam? Yes, that's him. Have you lost your mind? Grace! I was worried sick about you. I'm fine, thank you. Thank you for bringing her safe. Yes, ma'am. Has anybody seen Sam? Levi's got him. He's in the jail. Levi is the least of your worries. He took him. Who? Who took him? Don't ask me. I said who took him. The merchant. Like a salesman? <laughs> right. A salesman. <laughs> you know who's responsible for all this, don't you? It's been almost 30 years. There were five of us. We hit a banking coach outside Denton County. Ended up with two bags of gold and a posse on our heels. We took up shelter in a cave Bill knew. There was Wendell and Horace, youngsters. They were brothers, closest I've ever seen. Then there was Xander, older than the rest of us, but plenty spry. He'd been a friend of mine since the war ended. And there was William. We all called him Big Bill. Well, he didn't talk much. I suppose none of us did. Especially him. He just kept to himself. I admired him for it. Next day, I had first watch. Turns out, one day was all they needed to catch up. We knew no lawman was dumb enough to walk into a crossfire. We were right. Our plan was to wait them out. But they weren't interested in waiting. just a little slow at knowing it. We took turns trying to clear the blockage. A bunch of worms trying to push through a coffin lid. When we weren't doing that, we passed the time talking about our lives and families. Horace was the first to go. He died of consumption. Brought it in with him. The air was heavy. Put him down fast. We spent days in the dark to save fuel. There were times when water made its way down through the rocks. Not much, but enough to lengthen our supply. Can't say the same for the beef. Some hard decisions had to be made. Wendell was a problem for a little while. Bill said he found him with his head cracked open. Said a loose rock must have done him in. Of course, we knew different. In fact, we appreciated the life. We took turns with the harvest. Xander and I needed time to ready up. 
eating was even worse. Bill told us to imagine it was deer meat. It didn't work for us. Oh, Bill, he didn't seem to mind it at all. We ran out of water. We ate all we could. There's nothing left to talk about but our families anymore. And we didn't talk about them too much. I was waiting for a loose rock to fall on me. <laughs> and when we woke up on what we thought just might be our last day, there was another man in the light. He said he was a merchant. Said there was no need for us to die. He said we could live. What's more, we could each be wealthy men, men of influence. He promised money, women. He never promised a long life, but we were dead men anyways. He carried three trinkets. We were each to take one. The deal was, as long as we keep them, We'll never want for nothing. But when the time comes, he has a special place for us in hell. Xander and I, we took the deal. Bill, he made his own. He offered that devil a child, a son. It took him 10 years to make good, but when he did, he killed the mother and made the boy a bastard. Father Long gave the boy's mother's maiden name, Reuben. Oh my God, Sam! Young lady, wait! Grace! He is sitting over in that jail, waiting to die, and I'm not going to let that happen. I hadn't killed him yet. It's not quite time. Can't take him until his 20th birthday. That, that's tomorrow. Then there's time. There's some time still. No sense running out getting yourself killed. If that devil wants your friend, Sam, there'll be no stopping him. Well, if you're saying he's screwed, then you're saying you're screwed. Because it seems to me he's going to be on your ass next. That's right. And I aim to make him earn it. I don't have time for this. Well, hold on a damn minute. We can break him out. What's your name, boy? Joseph. But you can call me Red River Joe. Is that supposed to mean something? Sounds scary, I guess. If you say so, Joseph, follow me. I'm going to cover you from over the store. You get in. You find the spare key. You get him back here, but don't make a move till I signal. Got it? Good. Red River Joe. <laughs> Sam. 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 Why are you whispering? I, I don't know. Sam, I thought you was cold as a wagon tire. I mean, I knew you'd be Joseph. all right, but... Get me out of here. Right. There's gotta be one here somewhere. Where's the key, Sam? Joe, 
You need to get out of here. If they catch you here, they'll kill you quick. I ain't leaving here without you. Don't be a fool, Joe. There's nothing you can do for me here. What, just leave you here? W what am I gonna tell Grace? She'll pop my head off like a chicken, so you know it. No, you go. You go, you find Grace, you tell her to get the hell out of Burning Bush, and I'll, I want you to go with her. I said I ain't leaving! For once in your life, Joseph, you're absolutely right. You're gonna wanna be putting that shooter down. Am I? Make it easy for you. <laughs> Red River Joe, most feared of the lawless, the swift hand of God. Wanted by millions of women. A timeless legend. I can make that happen, Joe. Do you want to make a deal? Gentlemen, you the one been causing all that fuss around here? I might have kicked up a little dust. Reckon you have. We're friends of William and Caleb. Well, that makes four of us. You feeling kind of long and thick today, boy? You don't know the half of it. If I was you, I'd take that smart lip, saddle up, and ride your ass on out of here. I'm afraid I can't do that. You see, I got accounts to settle here. I recommend you consider them closed.
You can't kill me, can you? Where have you been? You are no longer worthy to be in my service. Be thee doomed! Close. Orphans. She was with Father Long when he took me in. Of course, she left after she met Roy. <sighs> and after Roy died, she... Roy? Sarah's brother. How'd that happen? Fell off a horse. <sighs> well... I am sorry about Grace. It's almost time. As I'm recently short an assistant, you'll be coming with me. It'll be fun.
from him. It's Tom. No! God damn it, no! I didn't know! You son of a bitch! Sam, what have you done? He didn't mean it! Look at him! I will kill you! He didn't mean it, Sam. He got into your head, didn't he? Joe, what are you doing? She needs help, Sam. It's not safe out there. It ain't safe in here. I'll go get help. I could run. I'm the fastest runner this side of the globe, you know that. I'll get... I'll get the doctors and the law. I'll bring them back, Sam. Guess it's Red River Joe to the rescue. Tell all your friends. Hey, you are all my friends. Now be careful out there. Don't stop till you reach Henderson County. Right. And Sam, happy birthday. I'm so sorry, sir. She ain't gonna make it. He's right. Don't say that! The hell you doing, old man? We gotta get out of here. There's no hope for me, son. 
You should go on and leave now. Best I could do is try to hold them off. Fuck you! Go! what I've done with him. I ain't forgot about you. Do you like it? Until today. But you've shown me that I can do better. So I have a deal for you. Walk with me in hell. Walk with me on this earth. Walk with me above men and make your enemies suffer. Walk with me through the ages. What do you say?
sleep on me. Why not? I got plans for you. <laughs> oh, you got plans for me? <laughs> yes, I do. Big plans? As big as you've ever had. <laughs> We gotta go. Whoever it is, they'll help him get in. Let's go! of you. I'd reckon so. Hospital. I can do you one better. You see, I'm somewhat of a healer myself. I'm a few things, really. I can get you back on your feet. And once you're on them, I can walk you up to the assholes that done this to you. I can help you hurt them the way they hurt you. Yeah, I'd bet you'd like that, wouldn't you? Good. Let us make a deal.
Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling Clementine. You are lost and gone forever. Dreadful sorry, Clementine. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling. 